A Ghost in Love, performed by Jenny Bryce, Rupert Farley, Crispin Redman, Patience Tomlinson. A Ghost in Love. Scene one. Brad sees a ghost. Brad and Jerry come into the hotel room and put their bags down. It is a hot day, and they are wearing summer shirts. Brad sits on a bed. Man, I want a drink. Twenty miles in one morning. Are the bicycles okay in the street? In this little village? Oh yes, nobody steals bicycles here. How do you know? This is your first time here, first time in England, or am I wrong? No, you're right. But I remember this village. I was here before, Jerry. I can feel it. Oh come on. We were out in the sun for five hours. You need to drink some cold water, my friend. This hotel opened in 1853, right? Right. Brad, you looked at this book before. No, I didn't. Hey, you know something? It's 1:15. My dad died at this minute. On this day last month. Oh, Brad, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. I'm going to go back to New York next week, after our three weeks in England, and I'm going to be Brad Davis of Davis TV. Dad wanted that. Yeah. Hey, come on. Let's go out in the sun. Let's see the village. Have a drink, find some girls. No, you go. I like it here, here in the room. Okay, let's stay in the room. Hey, there's a television. Hmm, not working. Oh, forget it. No, you're Brad Davis of Davis Television, the biggest in America. You must have a television. Look, shall I go down and ask Mrs. Finch? You stay here. You look tired. Yeah, thanks, Jerry. I am tired. In 1760, the hotel was a house. A family called Bannister lived in the house. One day. The nineteen-year-old daughter, Ellen. I was never nineteen. I died at eighteen. Yes, I remember you. Hello, Ellen. Hello, Matthew. Why does your friend call you Brad? Is that a name? Yes, it's an American name. But you are Matthew, and I'm going to call you Matthew, always. Oh, Matthew, I waited and waited and waited for you. I love you so much. Do you love me? Yes, I think. Yes, I do. You think? Is that an answer? After all these years, oh, Matthew, Matthew, do you remember everything? No, not everything. I remember our love, and you died. I remember that. I wanted to die too, and again last month, I wanted to die. Oh, Matthew, don't say that. Oh, Matthew, I'm so happy to see you again. Ellen, can I see you? Can we talk? Oh yes, I want to talk to you about. Are you okay, love? You look white. This is not a happy time for Brad. I'm sorry, love. Do you want some dinner? I make the.
best dinner in the north of England. No, thank you. Talk to me later, then. Right, the television. It's okay now. Bye-bye, Brad. Bye, Jerry. Have a nice time in our village. Mrs. Finch, wait, please. Do you know about the Bannister family? Did you see the ghost? Ellen Bannister? Yes. What? Brad, you saw a ghost? Oh, come on. Oh, Ellen's always here. She likes young men. She's always looking for her boyfriend. Matthew's his name, I think. Mrs. Finch, what happened? How did she die? What happened to Matthew? You're interested, love. I can see that. There's an old woman in the village. Her name is Maud Anscombe. She knows about Ellen. You ask Maud. Brad, this ghost, what did she say? She... she didn't speak, Jerry. She said... Nothing at all. Scene 2 Brad and Jerry want to know about Ellen. Maud is a very old woman. Her hair is white. Brad and Jerry are sitting at a table with her in her house. Ellen Bannister, a bad bad girl. When she looked at someone, the next day they were ill. So she was a witch? Yes. She looked at animals too. Then all the cows in the village had no milk in them. Do... do you know this? How do you know? How can you know? Oh, it's in all the books. Our village is famous because of bad Ellen Bannister. Scene 3 Was Ellen a witch? Brad and Jerry are in Mrs Morgan's village shop. There are two men and three women in the shop, and Mrs. Morgan. Yes, are you next? Yes, two Cokes, please, and two of those sandwiches. I'm not hungry. Man, you must eat. You can't sit in your room all day and wait for a ghost. That's six pounds, please. What ghost's this? Ellen Bannister? Yes. Do you know about Ellen Bannister? Oh, people in our village had no money then. Of course they stole things. And Ellen Bannister sold them. She only wanted to help. Was she a witch? Some people say that. A witch? <laughs> no, <laughs> of course not. The men loved her. She helped them, you see. The women didn't love her so much. She was beautiful, you see. Her boyfriend was the bad one, that Matthew. It wasn't her. Oh, what did he do? He stole things from rich people. Then she sold them and he took all the money. He took all her money, too, but she loved him. Did he love her? No. He had two or three women. No, he didn't. He loved her. He lived for her. Who are you talking about? That witch Ellen Bannister? She ate cats for breakfast. Oh, don't listen to him. <laughs> don't listen to these people, you boys. What happened to Ellen Bannister? You want to know that? Matthew killed her. Evan. Scene 4 
Where is Ellen now? It is night time. Jerry is sitting on the bed. Brad is walking up and down. Seven hours. We waited seven hours. Where is she, Jerry? I said this before. I don't know. Just wait. She isn't coming because you're here. Brad, I say again. One, I sleep here. This is my room. Two, I am your friend, and I am leaving you like this. Jerry, is this all a big laugh for you? No, not now. I want to see Ellen too. I want to help. Okay, thanks, Jerry. Sorry. Hey, here she is, Ellen. Ellen, it's me, Brad, Matthew. Man, oh man, it's all true. Ellen, please. Tell me, what happened in seventeen sixty? You must remember. No. We sold things, you and me, rich people's things. You stole them, remember? Wow, Brad, you were Robin Hood. Sorry. The rich people didn't like me. They said bad things about me. Ellen Bannister is a witch. They said that, but it's not true. Of course not. Then one day, they came for us, twenty men. What happened? We ran away. You found a ship, a ship going to America. You said, "See you at one fifteen, at the harbour. We can go away." You and me. And then what happened, Ellen? The ship went early. I wasn't there in time. You went on the ship. You didn't wait for me. Oh no! When I arrived, there were a lot of ships there. I didn't know the name of our ship. I looked for you. I waited and waited. And waited, Ellen. Oh, Ellen, I'm sorry. Then the men came. They put me in prison. I died three months later. And then I came back home, here. And I waited again. I waited for you. I love you, Ellen. I love you too, Matthew. Scene five. What is Brad going to do? It is dark. Brad is standing at the window of the room. Jerry comes in. Brad always has his back to Jerry in this scene. Do you want to die? Do you want to go to Ellen? Before today, the answer was yes. Matthew wanted to die, and go to be with Ellen. Do you understand that? Yes, but Matthew is dead, and I am Brad now. And what does Brad want? I don't know. I'm thinking. Is there a train from here to London tomorrow? Yes, we can put our bicycles on the train. We can get the next plane back to America. Do you want to do that? I don't know. I'm going to tell you tomorrow. Street in six. In love with a ghost. The next day, Brad and Jerry are in the street. Jerry has two bags. Mrs. Finch is there too. You must leave then, a week early. Yes, I'm sorry. 
Oh, hello. It's the American boys. Are you going home to America? Jerry's going home, Mrs. Morgan. I'm staying here, at the hotel. I'm going to live here, always. Brad, do you want to do this? Think about Davis T. What are you going to do here in England? I don't know. But, yes, Davis TV needs a good man. My dad worked for years for Davis TV. But now it has a good man, Jerry. You. Me? Oh, thank you, Brad. That's okay. I'm happy. I'm in love. She waited for me, and now I'm here. I am never going to leave her again.